So it's a beautiful Saturday in October. It's my first day off in quite a while actually. And you know what that means. Running errands. I gotta go today to the bank. I gotta go to Kmart. I need to go to the pharmacy. I need to go to the library. And I better get some lunch. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways I could do that trip. You have any idea how many different ways I could do a trip like that? And, of course, I want to do it as efficiently as possible. How do you think I go about figuring out the shortest distance to get all these errands run? What do you think? So here's the deal. I need to get from my house here at the blue flag to the store at the red flag. And the question is, how many different ways can I get there going just on the public streets? Well, you could spend a whole long time figuring out all the different paths, and a lot of students try doing that. But it turns out that there's a nice, simple way to do it. There's what we call an algorithm for figuring out the number of different paths, and it works like this. Go down the sides, down the side here, and up across the top, and work out, this part's easy, how many different ways can you get here? How many different ways can you get here? How many different ways can you get here? Well, it turns out there's only one. There's only one way to get here, 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 and only one way to get here. If you never backtrack anyway, to get to this point up top, straight across the top is the only way to get there. Same way down the bottom. There's only one way to get to each of these intersections. Sure, you could go some circuitous route, but who's doing that? You would go straight. Now, we're going to go one step further. How many different ways can I get here? Well, it turns out if I can get here one way and here another way, there are really only two ways for me to get here. I'd have had to go directly from one of those two. How many different ways to here? Well, if there were two ways to meet for me to get to this spot and another one way for me to get across the top, there are a total of three ways for me to get to this point. Add the opposite corners. Three ways for me to get here, one way to get here, making a total of four here. Start filling it out that way. See how what I'm doing is adding across the corners? Let's try it down here along the bottom. Two ways to get to this interior point, only one to the outside, for a total of three to this point. Three and one makes a total of four to this point, four and one makes five. Keep building in that way. If I could get to this point three different ways, and this point three different ways, well, coming down here to the bottom has to have been one of those three or three ways for a total of six. Six and four makes ten ways here. Five and ten makes fifteen ways here. Sixteen, excuse me, fifteen and six makes twenty-one ways here. Let's start filling out that way without so much thinking anymore because we're starting to realize how this works. Ten and ten makes twenty. 35, 35, 35 and 21 makes 56, 35 and 35 makes 70, and how many is 70 and 56? Might need a calculator for that. 6 and 0 makes 6 in the ones digit, 5 and 7 is 120, so 126 is the number of different ways that I could go from my house to the store more or less directly. Okay, let's try it again. This time, let's say we need to get from the store to the bank. They're pretty close to each other, so how many different ways can I get from the store to the bank? I bet some of you are saying, well, I can figure that out without even doing the math. Fine, race me, see who can do it faster. It takes me one way to get down the sides here, one way here, one way to each of these gives me two, two ways here and one way here gives me three, one way to here and two ways to that spot gives me three, 1 and 3, 4, 3 and 3, 6, 6 and 4, there are 10, 10 different ways to get from the store to the bank. See if you can prove me wrong. Once more with feeling, let's head from the bank to the pharmacy. This is a little different route. This time it's three streets over and four streets down. How many different ways? There's only one way to go along the outside. One way each of two different directions makes two. We're adding opposite corners, so we get four to over here. One and two makes three. Three and one makes four. Five. Three and three makes six. Ten ways to this spot. Ten ways to this spot, but fifteen to here. Twenty to here for a total of thirty-five different ways for us to get from A to B.
So what happens if I have multiple locations? Turns out it's really not that big a deal. I'm going from, let's say, my house to the store to pick up some oranges and then to the bank. Okay, how many different ways can I get from my house to the store? That's easy. One way across the top, one way across the bottom here. The combined ways, you add up the corners. So this is three, this is four, this is three, this is six, and finally this is ten ways to get from my house to the store. Well that means if there's ten ways to get to the store, then there's ten ways to get on these horizontal and vertical streets, right? Start from there. Ten ways to get here, ten ways to get here for a total of twenty ways to get here. Thirty in this spot, thirty in this spot, sixty in this spot, forty and forty and sixty tells me there's one hundred, one hundred different ways for me to get from my house to the store and then from the store to the bank. There is one trick you need to watch out for. If your sides are not straight, say they're stair-stepped like this one, yes there's only one way to get across the top, but the temptation can be to say that there's only one way to get down the corners, and that temptation is absolutely wrong. Okay, there are plenty of ways to get to those far corners. In fact, if there are two ways to get to this corner, then there are two ways to get down to this edge. And if there are, see we've got to fill out a little bit more before we can really figure out what's going on here. If there are six ways to get to this corner, then there are six ways to get to this one. We've got to fill out the other things that come up the sides first. 10, 5, 15, 10 and 6 makes 16, so there are 16 ways to get here. 15 and 16 is 31. 31 and 16, that's 47 different ways to get here down that stair step. Last thing, we talked about efficiency, trying to find the best way home. Well, that requires quite a bit of analysis, actually. You'll Take a map of your different routes that you could possibly take. I needed to go, remember, to Kmart, the pharmacy, to the bank, to the library, and to get some lunch. There's paths to each of these places. Take all the different paths that are likely. You might want to avoid any particularly long stretches and just see how long each one is. From home to the library is two miles. From the library to BK is two miles. From BK to the bank is two miles. From the bank to the pharmacy is 2.5. From the pharmacy to Kmart is 2, and from Kmart back home is 3, for a total of 13.5 miles. We can do the same analysis for the other routes, to the bank is 1, to the pharmacy 2.5, 1 to BK, only 2 to the library, and then 2 back home. That's a total of 11.5 miles. That might be our best bet. Let's try this last one. We're going to go straight to BK, which is 4 miles. We'll go to the bank from there, which is back two, to Kmart for one, to the pharmacy for two, to the library. That's two stretches for a total of two and one, and back home for another two miles. That's a total of 14. Looks like our best route to go will be the Kmart Bank Pharmacy BK Library home route. Does anybody else think maybe it's just a little early to be starting in with this? Thank you very much. Numbers.